When it comes to video editing software, different people have different needs. For example, if you're a kid in school, you might want to consider checking out my class all about iMovie. If you're looking to start up a YouTube channel, you might want to check out my class all about Final Cut Pro. But if you are a small business owner and you just need a simple solution to create social media content to advertise your business online, that is where InVideo is a great solution. And I'm going to teach you how to use it coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hello everyone and welcome to the class. I made today's video specifically for those of you out there who are part of the small business community because your needs are unique compared to other video creators out there. When it comes to creating online videos, what most small businesses need is a solution that is user-friendly, easy to access on multiple platforms, and includes everything you need to create a video, including stock footage, graphics, and music. And when you have questions, it's really nice to know that you have access to live online support 24 seven. Now, unlike most traditional video editing software, InVideo runs straight from your web browser, which means that you can access it from literally any computer. All you need to do is visit the website invideo.io. Everything is stored in the cloud, so your files are always with you. Today's video is sponsored by InVideo, which I thank them for, but please note they did not play a role in making any editorial decisions. That part they left up to me. So if you decide that you do want to try it out, you can save 50% by using promo code TECHTALK50. When you first head over to nvideo.io, you can choose from over 4,000 templates, which can be completely customized. The first thing I recommend you do after you create an account is to set up your brand's presets, which you can do by clicking here at the top right and then click on where it says brand presets. Here we can set up all of the default colors, fonts, and you can even upload your logo. That way, anytime you create a new project, the look will be consistent across the board. Now, one of my favorite features is the article to video feature, which you can access by clicking on this tab. This feature allows you to turn a short amount of text into a video in seconds. You've probably seen this style of video used on your favorite news websites. Many times, in addition to a written article, bloggers and newsrooms are adding these types of videos as a way to further engage viewers. That being said, if you own a small business, this provides a simple and fast solution to instantly turn customer testimonials into shareable content. Let me just give you a quick example of how easy it is to use this feature. Let's say I'm making a promotional video for one of my favorite sandwich shops here in Provincetown. And in this video, I want to feature a few customer testimonials. I really like the look of this executive template, so let's go with that. At this point, I'll just enter in a catchy title, then I'll paste my testimonials into this space and click next. At this point, our video is going to start to render and in a moment it's going to present us with a little storyboard where we can see the layout of the video. Now what it's basically doing is it's analyzing keywords in those testimonials and it's going to attempt to use stock footage to pair that text with that footage. And what I want to let you know is that that feature does not work perfectly. But the good news is, is that part of your subscription to InVideo is you get access to a massive amount of stock footage. So they pull footage from Storyblocks, from Shutterfly, and several other websites. So even if the AI feature doesn't work perfectly, I want you to know it's really easy to swap out the shots that don't work. Our video has just finished processing, and if I scroll down, you'll see it has paired stock footage with each scene. If any shots don't work, I can either click on the trash icon next to the image, or to swap it out with something else, I can just click into media here at the top left and search for stock footage that might be a better fit. While stock footage can definitely help your video, it's also a good idea to pair it with actual footage of your business. And for that reason, I'd like to bring your attention to the upload tab. In addition to your logo, I recommend that you upload a variety of interior and exterior footage. If you have a little tripod for your phone, I happen to think that the time-lapse feature can be really great entertainment for these types of videos. So let's now swap out the opening shot with the actual exterior of the building. I'll just drag and drop my clip from uploads and place it here into the existing shot. I think I want to make a few more changes, so let's now click the edit button. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we have a timeline which shows me that this clip is currently 11 seconds long. I think that might be a little bit too long, so I'll drag it back from the right to trim it. Our text box looked really good before, but now I think I might want to try swapping it out with something different. 
So for now, I'll click on this text box and click the trash icon at the top right. To explore my other options, let's go into the text menu here at the top left. Thankfully, I have access to a ton of different types of text animations. So for now, let's look at some of the modern designs. This one here looks pretty cool. Let's add it to the project by clicking the plus icon at the top right of this box. To swap out the text, I just need to select it and then all of the adjustments are here to the right. I'll then reposition it by dragging it to the bottom corner. One thing to be careful of when uploading your own footage is to make sure that you mute any shots where you don't want to hear that audio. To do this, all I need to do is select the media layer here on the timeline, and then I'll find the volume controls here on the right. When you're done making any changes, don't forget to click save at the top right. To change out the music, let's click into the music tab, and we'll start by selecting a category of music. I think I'll go with something bright. I already listened to a bunch of these earlier, and I think I like this track here called Lil Cookie. At this point, I'm gonna make a few final tweaks to a few other shots, and this was the final product. At this point, I would like to show you how to modify a standard template, and for this example, I'm gonna profile the real estate industry. One of the biggest challenges for realtors is finding creative ways to advertise homes on social media, and for that reason, I think NVIDIA offers a really great solution. I'll start by typing in real estate into the search here at the top of NVIDIA.io. I love this template because it's clean and it has a nice collage effect on the second slide, so let's go with this one. As you can see, this template is available in several different aspect ratios to go with each of the various social networks. One of the time-saving tricks I wanted to point out in this tutorial is that you can create a video in one aspect ratio, then duplicate it and change it to a different aspect ratio in order to complement the different social networks. So you can create a video for Facebook, then quickly change it into a different size for Instagram. To do this, just click on your project folder which you'll find here at the top right of your screen, then go to the project and select duplicate. At this point, you'll be asked to select the aspect ratio for the new video. Sometimes you may need to make a few slight adjustments, but this makes the process a lot easier compared to having to make a whole new video for each aspect ratio. Let's now switch back to our real estate video. As you can see here, all of the text information is here on the right hand side. So all I need to do is swap out the numbers to reflect this listing. Then when it comes to the photos, I'll just go to the Upload tab here on the left and I'll import my listing photo. When I go to drag it and drop it on top of the template photo, it will ask me do I want to replace the image or add it as an additional layer. I'll select Replace. I'm going to fast forward this part as I swap out the other images in this video. If you look between these two shots, you'll see we have this little bow tie icon. That is a transition to go from one slide to the next. When I click on this icon, you can see all of the other options that we can choose from. To preview any of these, just roll your cursor over the image. If you want to add an additional scene, just click here on the left and select the layout that works best for you. If you'd like to add a voiceover to your project, you can do so by clicking here. I didn't feel that a voiceover is right for this type of video, but I at least wanted to acknowledge that feature. If at any point you need assistance, InVideo has live support 24 seven. Yes, from actual humans. So if you ever get stuck, just click on the live chat button here at the bottom right. When you're done, click the export button at the top right. While InVideo does give you an option to share your video to social media, I would very strongly recommend that you not use this feature and instead download the video and manually upload it to each platform. The reason why is because algorithms prefer original content over shared content. And if you didn't follow that last sentence, just trust me. Download the final video and manually upload it to each social media account. That way your video will achieve maximum organic visibility. So if you decide that InVideo would be a good solution for your business, remember that you can use promo code TECHTALK50 to save 50% off any membership. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.